When I first started working for the Gwinnett County Public School System, there were two coaches. There was a math district instructional coach and there was a language arts district instructional coach and I was the language arts instructional coach at that time. In the 10 years that I was at the district level, we added instructional coaches to every content area. So the number of coaches expanded tremendously. And so we were all, you know, trying to really look cohesive, but it wasn't. And so for us to be on the same page, because we really wanted to show that common thread of our language together and just that understanding of if you're, you know, representing the gifted department and I'm representing the English language arts department, then what's a protocol that we both know really well and we can be seamless in our collaboration and support. Having the Coaches Academy come to Gwinnett County Public Schools in order to provide that support for the district coaches, to me, was a tremendous big step. So we would have a session with Learning Forward. We would have a couple days and collaborate and do some thinking together, once again, across all the discipline areas. You could really feel in the room just the cohesiveness coming together and coming back and revisiting, you know, specific strategies we had been working on. And then to learn and continue to add to our tool belt, I think once again was very helpful. Having that mindset of being a continuous learner as an instructional coach, whichever level you're serving teachers and students and supporting administrators as well, is key to being successful as an instructional coach.